said. I have my. You are expected. I'm glad someone's trying this again. Many have tried to light the flame of Eden, and all have failed. There are many highwaymen surrounding the flame, and they kill without pity. Our best option against their numbers and firepower is to take them out with cunning and stealth. We've brought you a weapon suitable for our most holy task. Please consider using it. My fellow Chosen will help you. Now follow me. Yes, this is the sort of weapon to use for this sacred task. I feel I may see history being made today. If Ethan couldn't do this, I doubt it's not here.
dinner. There's more. There's still work to be done. brought you as far as we can. You must descend into the cavern and light the flame alone. They flooded the chamber and sealed the pipes. Those pipes contain the bliss that feeds the sacred flame. Drain the water, then destroy the pipes to release the bliss. Ignite the bliss so that the righteous fire may rise again. And be careful it does not consume you. Go, sinner, with our blessings and hope. They may have brought the book. <sighs> else. The father will know what to call you. Ethan himself was not able to accomplish this. Clearly you are the one who will make Joseph's prophecy come true. You must return to Ethan for further instructions, but go, knowing you have given us a new hope. All of New Eden will rejoice. Our fire is restored. And if 
A non-believer is a sinner. A non-believer does not know our ways. A non-believer has relit our most sacred flame. We need Joseph. He cleanses our sins. Father will absolve the sinner. Send the sinner to the north. Family of New Eden, you have searched your hearts and truly believe that this sinner should seek our father? Yes. It is certain. The father shows mercy to sinners. After all, we are all his children. Prepare the sacrament. Yes. Prepare the, the sacrament. Bring the sacrament. Bring the sacrament. Give them the drink. Give them the, drink. the Father guides us in this moment. Make them drink, please. The sinner is granted pilgrimage north. They will bring back the Father. <laughs> Praise be to Joseph. Amen. 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 <laughs> this will allow you to cross the threshold and live. Bring back proof of his death. They will at last understand I am their prophet, and I'll give you the help you need. We both get what we want. We will show you the way. Listen well. Joseph has a sanctuary far to the north. Ritual demands you light signal fires along the way. I doubt the old man is alive to even see them, but if you don't light the fires, it will be the death of you. Because despite the sacrament, the north can still kill you. This boat and the fire are your best means of safe, swift passage. Stray from them only when it's absolutely necessary. Use your bow to light the signals with fire arrows. Bring me proof of my father's death, and I will make sure you are remembered as a friend of the Prophet. Go now, with my blessing.
did everything that I was asked. I sacrificed myself, my family. I led us into the new world. I thought that it would be glorious. wrong. I have waited so long for someone to come. I've begun to despair. I've seen your face before. 
God showed it to me in a dream. I knew you would be the one to come and make things right. Set them exactly the way they're supposed to be. I knew that you would bring salvation. You've come seeking help. I can't give you any, only God can. But he has a plan for you. Come. Walk with me. indeed the one I saw in my vision. After God's cleansing fire, I saw the journey he had laid out before us. And I knew what was required when we set foot on our new Eden. When humanity emerged, I gathered my flock and set them on a new path. A rejection of everything connected to the old world. The creation of a new society, living off the land, taking only what was needed. When the harshest years of the dark winter fell, I despaired. And in that despair, I found our salvation. This tree. Its fruit a gift from God, which gave my family the strength to endure through the famine and the pestilence. New Eden thrived. We created a paradise on Earth. But it did not last. This plague of locusts saw to that. These highwaymen embody everything God has instructed us to forsake. Their souls are rotten, diseased. But you? You are different. I believe your soul is worthy. This is the help that you've been seeking. God's gift to us. That which sustained my family through the darkest time. Let me offer you this. Our miracle. The first time that I partook of this gift, I was confronted by a ravenous beast. It was my soul. And in that moment, I knew that in order to be worthy of God's gift, I had to slay that beast. I had to cleanse my soul. Because if I did not, I knew that that beast would consume me. This is God's test. And 
Silencio. allowed us to survive, but its gifts are not unconditional. It nourishes what is in a person's soul. But if that soul is corrupt, the miracle extracts a terrible price. is why I am here. There are those who must not be allowed to partake of this miracle. Even if I love them. Even if they are of my family. Sin is a beast we cannot be.
shepherd of my people. Come with me to New Eden. Our future depends on adherence to my strictures. We can no longer hope for Joseph to save us. He is not coming back. We must put him out of our minds and... and... Father. Ethan. Father? The father. Where have you been? Our land is under siege, our people threatened. You disappeared. You left us when we needed you most. Why? To hear God's plan, my son. To hear God's plan. My children. I know that you have suffered. And I know that you are afraid. I have been gone from you for a very long time. But you were not abandoned. God spoke to me, and he has shown me a path out of this darkness. We will no longer hide behind these walls. We will no longer simply hope that this plague of locusts leaves us in peace. The time to fight is now. And God has sent us his sword. Here! God has tested their soul, and it is just, and it is pure. And I stand here before you to bear witness that this outsider is our shepherd. Father! And together, we will battle against the hordes outside our gates, and together we will march towards the future that God has promised us. No! You abandoned me. You abandoned us. Without a word, without instructions, leaving me to lead as best I could. And now, now, you return. As if descended from the clouds and presumed to lead? Yes. I am the leader here. Joseph is our leader. New Eden follows me! We stand behind the Father. Son, I know you've carried a heavy burden in my absence. I understand that. This is God's will. And sometimes we must sacrifice that which we want in order to honor God's command. What have you ever sacrificed? Someday you will see the light. I promise. Come, let us all go together. We have much work to do. And now it begins. I wish to speak with you. Already my chosen fight the highwaymen throughout the long nights. Now I will ask them to find the strength to fight in the day as well. Your friend should make good use of the distraction and act quickly. My family cannot fight forever. As for you, remember God's gift. What you have experienced so far is just a taste of God's power. Do not waste it. I will also give leave for my judge to follow you. They speak only one language, that of violence. In this, they will serve you well. Before you can be our shepherd, you must be our sword. Go and make the land safe for all who wish to live in peace.
I'm still shaking after that scene. God damn. Back in one piece. Glad you're back, Captain. You got Joseph Seed on our side. I hope it didn't come at too high a price. There's something different about you. You've changed. But now the New Eden's attacking the High Women. The twins are fighting a war on two fronts. Okay. We need to take advantage of this. We've done good work in prosperity, but it's still not enough. We need to invest more ethanol into our facilities. That's the key to getting prosperity back up and running again. Once this place is at its peak, we'll be in a good spot to really take the fight to Mickey and Lou. While you're out doing that, I'm gonna do some recon. See if we can't get a foothold deeper in their territory. I'll meet you back here once you're done. You've made a big improvement to prosperity. We're on our way. Your wire base is still standing. <laughs> of your number one disciple. Um, please send help. Got a real good news, bad news situation brewing here. The good news is I found Gina, Blade's birth mommy, the love of Herc's life. Bad news is the highwaymen snatched her up and she's being forced to drive in the prisoner run. It's how they punish those disloyal of the gang. The winner gets their freedom back. Only problem is it's totally rigged so nobody wins and everybody dies horrible grizzly. Yeah, I guess they're still butt hurt that she gave her baby to us instead of them. I guess even helmet heads love babies. I mean, they're so special. Anyways, uh, you need to make sure that Gina wins, gets out of there alive, because that's Blade's birth mommy, and nobody fucks with our family, okay? Also, I don't know if you ever seen Sad Herc, but it's a real shit show. He becomes an inconsolable tubby mess, and I got enough babies to deal with right now. So please, I'm begging you, save Gina, snipe the shit out of anyone who stands in her way.
under control. You didn't have to do that. Listen, I know the stupid race was unwinnable. That's why I wanted to beat it. But thanks. You probably saved my life or whatever. I'm not good at apologies. I'm not mad at you. I just wanted to shove that victory in their fucking faces. I've had to put up with the twins' horseshit for years. I kept my mouth shut. I did what I was told. All I ever asked in return was for those two dingbats to leave my baby alone. And what did they do? Try to take my kid away and sent me off to die in their stupid death race. As long as the twins are around, my baby will never be safe. I'm gonna pay the highwaymen back for what they did to me. You're all right. Give me a shot if you ever need an extra gun. to us ever again. Like the beach. I've been taken Me back too. to radar station. It's restocked with ethanol, but watch for alarms. It'll call. Is that a 
farm outpost you took? It's been taken back by the highwaymen and restocked with ethanol. They'll call an enforcer at the first sign of trouble, so watch yourself. Hi, man. Thanks for helping to keep our... That logging camp you captured has been taken by the highwaymen. If you get caught, they'll call an enforcer. <clears throat> Mr. Beauchamp, sir, can I ask you a question? Entree vu, little dude. The doors of my mind palace are always open to you. What's an orgasm? <laughs> Until I remember they think science doesn't exist. Let's kill people already. Good idea. Think about it. I didn't sign up for this. I'm still here. But I didn't sign up. You like the beach? <sighs> Me too. <sighs> Found a ship like the one in Top Gun. Thanks to you for getting me the fuel. Now you, me, la grosse patate, we're gonna get back to doing what we do best. Pissing off highwaymen and stealing their resources. So listen to this. The highwaymen found a crashed aircraft carrier and are using it to hide supplies. They thought they could keep that a secret, huh? <laughs> no, not from Roger. Whatever they found has to be good for us, too. So what do you say we pay them a visit? Maybe take a stroll on the beach after we rip them off? <laughs> no, just a joke. The, the highwaymen would be pissed off and we need to get the fuck out of there quick. So, ça tente-tu? Et moi, je capote. I'll tell you where to meet. Away! Go get them, Tiger! Get out of there! 
The High Women are going to throw everything they have at you to try to stop you. That's it, back for more, huh? I like you. Nobody listens to my suggestions on what to upgrade. If you maxed out with the size of a shack, it'd be... Mm. Mm. 